Hello everybody. Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we're going to go over the trades that we took today and how we actually managed to bank 3R um, before the trades, you know, before we exited the trades. So if that sounds interesting to you, please do stick with us until the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, turn on the bell notification and share with a few friends that you believe will find value in this video. So the first trade that it took or was on Euro USD. The first trade that it took was on Euro USD. We took a sell trade. We took a sell trade on Euro USD. Right? Um so basically you can see here it's on the 30 minutes. So I saw prices have broken below this structure here. As you see here prices were actually kind of trending kind of ranging, excuse me. So they were actually kind of ranging here. These being the lows, like prices were just ranging here, right? High, low, high, low, high, low. Not being able to break above that high and not being able to break below this low. And then prices here came down and then broke below this low with this crazy solid momentum during London. So I was like, okay, cool. This is a hard breach given this momentum closing below these lows there's a very high possibility that prices will be having a go ahead to keep on pushing until they hit the next lows which are somewhere here i knew this like prices have a very high possibility of pushing lower until the next lows which are somewhere here right so i took my trade placing my stop loss above the most recent high which was somewhere here obviously it was a bit you know um it was a bit wide the stop loss how many pips was it? About 24, right? And then I was like, okay, cool. Let's see how it goes. Prices started ranging, obviously. Um, during the pre-New York, prices started dropping, dropping, dropping all the way until they hit these targets down here. About one R, over one R, but I closed my trade at one R, so maybe somewhere here. That's when I closed my trade. Um, I closed my trade at 1R because I understood like prices, once they reach here, there's a very high possibility prices might start retracing again, right? Might start retracing again. So we see prices reach down here and then they started retracing again. But the good thing is that I already understood this. So at 1R, I immediately closed my trade. And then obviously you can see right now, prices have started retracing, moving all the way back here to the entry point. So for example, if I took the trade, not having understand, not having the understanding of this, and then I just went break even. I would have been stopped out without making anything, right? So um, it's all about the understandings of how prices actually move, the market structures and all that, right? Um, and obviously all of this was actually derived from the DXY because prices also reached this high. And I was like, okay, so there's a very high possibility that prices might not keep on pushing high after here. Even if it does break above and keep on pushing higher, there's a very high possibility that prices might retrace. Because if you look at the structure, the way it's formed, um, prices have been pushing for a while now. Like high, um, we have a high, we have a low, higher high, higher low, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. No retracements, just, you know, prices climbing. So they must be exhausted. So I was like, okay, prices will be giving a retracement. I know this, right? So once prices reached there, I just secured my bag and I was out. Um, and as we have seen, prices have retraced and stopped people at break even that didn't take their profits out there. Um, so cool. That was on Euro USD, secured one R. Beautiful trade. And then the second trade was on CAD JPY. Here on CAD JPY, um, you can see if I zoom out. Um, prices prices hit the this ascending trend line this was the first touch this was the confirmation touch this was the third and entry trigger right i use price action price action is simple guys you don't need all those complex strategies it's simple and you've seen i'm eating <laughs> anyways if you have a strategy that's winning don't listen to me do your thing do your thing but if you don't have a strategy that's profitable use price action it's way easy very very simple 
Now with CAD JPY, I wanted to take my entry when prices were here, but then the structure still wasn't allowing me to. If you look at the 15 minutes, I wanted the structure to change first, the structure to change and show me a bullish directional change. As you still hear, prices were still in a bearish trend. All the way until here, prices were still in a bearish trend. I couldn't take the trade. Now prices started pushing higher, created a higher low. After breaking this, created a higher high, and then this was the higher low. Once this formed, I was like, okay, cool. This is my entry signal. So I took my trade here, placed my stop below the entry candlestick, and voila, prices just went all the way up there. So this was a bit tight. So I risked about 17 pips. Prices went all the way over 40, 44 pips, right? Um, I closed my trade at about 34 pips, somewhere here, obviously at about 2R. Again, you see here, after we closed our trade, prices came back out here stopped us at break even stopped those that didn't secure the bag at break even now here's the thing a lot of people always say like once you take the trade take the trade set forget okay cool set and forget that is a that can be a winning strategy that is a winning strategy for some traders that have a higher winning probability but for me i'm a i'm a full-time trader I want to make as maximum money as I can. If my strategy was set and forget, today so far I would have still been at break even because Euro USD would have been stopped at break even. Card JPY would have been stopped at break even. But because I actually manually watch the charts and manage my trades, guess what? I've booked 3% and I'm done for the day. Had I not been able to actually manage, physically manage my trades, I'd still be looking for a trade today. But now I'm done, I'm going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? So look, a lot of people don't actually add this trade management thing into their strategy, but I believe it's one of the things that actually helps a person become a better and winning trader. Trade management, guys, trade management. I believe the components that make a winning trader are risk management, a trading strategy, psychology, and the most important with which a lot of people don't actually talk about trade management trade management guys so i think it's four pillars not three but four pillars that actually make a trader a winning trader now um so that's how i got my trades today and that's how i actually managed to actually book my profits as you can see now prices are just dancing around i don't care what it does i already booked my profits <laughs> do you do you come on I want you to go and hit my stop loss, baby. Go ahead. I dare you. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Um, but anyways, I mean, if you're still struggling at the end of the day with trading, guys, I don't know what to tell you, but the one thing I'm sure that I can tell you is don't give up, man. This thing, it's bliss. It's bliss. Like once you get it, like it's the best thing that you can ever have. Trust me on that. Imagine today I booked three G's. Had I finished college, I mean, got a good job, I wouldn't be making three G's a month. But today I made three G's. It's not even five in the evening. I made it before New York opened. That means right now I would still be in the job. And at the end of the month, I still wouldn't be making what I'm able to make today in a single day. I don't know if we'll, I'm from Africa, so three G's to me, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of paper. I don't know for you guys out there, man, like in obviously the developed countries, first world countries, US, UK and all that. But I still believe even for you guys making three G's a day, that's a lot of money. So if you're still struggling, man, with trading, just keep your head up, keep learning, don't give up. It'll, it'll pay off and it's worth it. It's worth the struggles, it's worth the sleepless nights. <laughs> trust, trust. Just keep your head up, keep pushing, and you know, one day you'll make it through. As long as you don't give up, you haven't failed yet. So with that being said, guys, appreciate your time. If you've watched this video thus far, I really appreciate you. If you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do that as we drop valuable content on a daily basis. You don't want to miss that out. And 
share with a few friends that you believe will find value in these videos. Appreciate you all, guys. Take it easy out there. Have a great New York trading session. I'm going to hit the gym. See ya. <laughs>